How you doing guys? This is a uh, video um, that I decided to do since I wanted to do some work on my 2016 Mazda 6. Um, I could not find a video explaining on how to remove this dash to get to the infotainment center or system which is this here is pretty much the head unit um, so I'll tell you a little bit about that and then I'll also tell you about um, what I did to turn this into an Android system uh, so which was the reason why I decided to um, get into the dash because I needed to put a few components in so without further ado um, here is the first steps into taking the dash um, so right here is a glove compartment you will remove that down and take it off there's these little clips on the side you push it down and just remove the entire um, this entire glove compartment once it's removed behind here there's some clips and you would remove it's this entire piece the black along with the silver is all one piece start at the end there be very careful and there's a bunch of clips all the way across um, down into here this whole area here including your vents uh, will come out um, behind when you're pulling this out here you have this hood which if you were to pull on it towards you there's some clips and it comes out right here um, so that will need to come out probably want to do that before you remove this because it's going to kind of lift this up anyway so probably just pull on here yank that off uh, or just just this side of it pull it off to get to this um, it'll allow you to remove that be very very careful I it took me quite some time since I did not want to break that so once you have removed this piece and you've popped this out first then remove this uh, you should be able to get where the start button is this pulls out also has some clips and it'll pull up and out and I didn't take the whole thing off I just took took it out and moved it over to the side um, which now you will see all the way down um, one other thing I forgot when you're pulling this out you'll see behind here where there where the uh, emergency lights are your hazards there's going to be one plug you have to remove um, so I almost forgot about that once you remove that off again you're going to have this top piece where the start button is so you'll be able to remove that and then there's only one screw um, all the way in the back it's it's probably about a good six seven inches back it's uh, an actual bolt um, so I think it was uh, I forgot the size I needed to uh, use to get to it but you'll see it it's pretty obvious it's just one bolt once you remove that there's a couple of clips so you push this forward be very careful the whole system will actually slide out at that point you would have you can do whatever you need to do um, and then of course you do the opposite in reverse um, so the reason why I of course wanted to do that is because I, I bought this uh, it's called an interface um, also with an Android module um, what that did I got it from ordered it from China it allows the system to and I'll show you I have everything in here here's the boxes and lights and uh, basically it's a interface and then it has a module which gives this system the ability to turn into an Android system um, and the it also comes with Wi-Fi so now this the, I can actually connect to the internet and it also has navigation um, which this system did not have originally it was like a $500 upgrade I paid $350 for everything to make it uh, do what and it comes with its own uh, satellite GPS and everything else so I'll show you here what I do is I'll hit my press and hold my navigation button for three seconds and there you are it turns my screen into an Android screen and I will press the home button here um, as you can see I have Facebook I have YouTube um, all the main things it's only been 
24 hours since I've had it, so I'm pretty excited. I'll uh, show you. I don't have it currently connected um, to the internet or else because I'm actually using my phone. So it's not probably going to pick anything up since it doesn't have a connection right now. Actually, I think it does. So let me try something here. Um, let's see if that works. Yeah, the internet is not on, but um, as you can see, you have all these, um, and it came with this preloaded uh, video. It's something Chinese, but just to show you, and here's the video. Um, I forgot to do one thing here. Let me go back, get out of the system, because um, it requires you to actually go to your aux your auxiliary to get the sound from the audio so I'll do that now just so you can kinda see <laughs> so as you can see now I took a boring infotainment center or since the system and turned it into a multimedia Android system. Um, I'm really, really happy with it. It was slightly difficult as far as the wiring harness and um, basic information that I did get. Um, the instructions were difficult. I don't know what's here. It's music of some sort. Okay, something Chinese, which you can expect since I got this directly from China. This is not something that uh, is sold here in uh, the U.S. So, yeah, get rid of that. Um, so, that's it. Um, and this is, again, the 2016 Mazda 6. Um, thank you for watching.